All right, so we're trying to graph this system of equations and find its solution. Um, so I've got 2x plus 3y equals negative 12. And I want to find a couple of points to graph the line that'll fit on this grid. And you can see that I only go from negative 5 to 5 either way. Um, but let's see what happens if I plug in 0 for x. So I have 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 12. That means that 3y equals negative 12, or y is negative 4. So I get the point 0, negative 4, and that'll fit on my graph. Um, and if I plug 0 in for y, or x, yeah, that, uh, y, that's right, okay, we already did x. Uh, I get 2x equals negative 12, so x is negative 6. Well, that's no good because it doesn't fit on our graph, so we want to pick a different point um, that's going to work here. Um, it might help if we solve the equation for y. So we get 3y is equal to negative 2x, minus 12, and um, divide everybody by 3, we get that y is negative 2 thirds x minus 4. So I see that the values that I pick for x, um, I'm going to want them to be multiples of 3, because um, if I put in a multiple of 3, then I'm going to get rid of that fraction. So if I put in 3, for example, uh, for x, I get negative 2 thirds times 3 and minus 4. Um, and I end up with negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. Still not a point on our graph. Um, and I can't pick 6 because um, that'll give me even more negative. So let me try um, negative 3. Because we're running out of options here. Um, that would give me a positive 2 minus 4. So y would equal negative 2. Um, so that's negative 3, negative 2. And we finally have our two points on the line. So I can graph that. <clears throat> All right, so I'll have to try to remember those two points because i got to change pages here. I'll jot those down. So we got the points um, 0, negative 4, and negative 3, negative 2. All right, the other um, equation was negative 6x plus 3y equals 12. So um, I'm going to try the intercept method again. I'm going to put 0 in for x and solve for y. And I get that y is 4. And if I do the same thing, I put, but I put 0 in for y, I get that x is a negative 2. So this one worked just fine. Um, we get 0, 4, and negative 2, 0. Um, and those we can plot on our graph just fine. Um, so I have to change screens again. But I've jotted down all of the points that we have. All right, so here's our picture, and um, the first one we had was negative 4, 0, and negative 3, negative 2, and I'll graph the other line in a different color. That was 0, 4, and negative 2, 0. So it looks like, um, and you know, when you graph things by hand, they might not come out 
all that great, but it looks like the point negative 3, negative 2 works for both of them. So let me just double check that. If I put negative 3, negative 2 into the second equation, I know for sure it works for the first. Um, just to make sure this goes through, we get 18 minus 6 equals 12, 12 equals 12. So yes, the solution would be negative 3, negative 2. Oh, this is where it goes at the bottom. So just put negative 3, comma, negative 2. 